Hello and welcome back to my channel, Men With Mare. Okay, you all, you know what to do first. Please subscribe, like, and subscribe if you can. I'm going to be doing a reaction video to the music video of Shades of Cool. I saw somebody comment that it was one of the best music videos she's ever done. So I'm very interested in seeing them, even though the ride music video did make me feel a little sick, like, it was bad. Also, I'm getting ready. I'm prepping. I'm prepping and prepping and prepping for what I want these memberships to be like. I am really funny about numbers and I do feel like a power number is the number one. So I think I'm going to be releasing it on the 28th. So look out for it next Wednesday. If you want to become a member, there are going to be different tiers. And I've thought about it way more. And just so you all know, I'm still going to be putting out lots of content and it's just going to be members will likely have a tier where they will have early access to videos before or everybody else does. I also am gonna have a tier that I'm gonna use almost as if it was my personal Instagram. So I'm gonna be posting things about my life and what I do and like gardening, wellness things, my favorite book, book recommendations, my thoughts on things going on around the world. And if you haven't taken a look at my Instagram, go ahead and head on over there. Sometimes I jump on and I just post a story, just venting about things that I'm thinking about. And so if you're interested in things like that, then you'll probably wanna be a member for that tier. So yeah, I'm still working it through, but you all will know as we get closer. But I have settled on, it's going to be happening June 28th, so keep a lookout. All right, let's just get right on into it, here we go. All right, I'm about to click on the screen and I see an old man's eyes. I, I... <laughs> you guys, I just can't. <laughs> I can't with these old men. Yeah. Yuck, all right, let's go. this has to be another woman. I I don't know why I want to laugh. I think <laughs> Oh, it's because it's just please I don't want to be making those faces during this if it's about old men. I mean, they just get too much too much of everything. Just too much of everything. Okay, I'm also going to quickly pull up the lyrics because while I'm listening to them, I'm just, I am such a visual person and I really need to read them as well so that I get the full understanding of, of this song. I will say that I do like the fact that she's using shades of blue instead of shades of black. I mean, there's not really shades of black necessarily, but uh, shades of cool. I think that blue does lean under like a cool tone, right? Doesn't doesn't having blue like in your veins, like when you go to pick out makeup, sometimes they'll be like, what's your undertone? Are you neutral? Am, are you cool? Are you a warm? And I think that if you have like blue veins, then you're a cool undertone. That might have nothing to do with this. That's just random information that I have. But she's saying my baby lives in shades of blue. Blue eyes and jazz and attitude. All things that I think she likes, definitely. And when he calls, he calls for me, not you. It seems as if she's saying here that maybe she's like the number one side chick, possibly. We'll see. I just have to stop and say that Lana is not from this generation, from this time period. I, I, I swear she's just, she's like reincarnated during this time when she really should be back in like the 1930s or something. Just her look, her look, her sound, everything. It's very beautiful, but it takes me back in time. She's saying that he loves his drugs. He lives for love and he loves his drugs. So maybe he lives for drugs actually. And also his baby too, you know, just that other person. I can't fix it, can't make him back. Can't break 
Oh, it's so dreamy and beautiful. Like this just like pulls me in with her voice. I have to look at the lyrics. And so she seems as if she's saying, I can't break through your world. You're unfixable. So this does fall in line with after Black Beauty. This does align with that where he is unfixable. she didn't do it for her uh just by his looks alone <laughs> so so she's talking about him that he has cold hands cold heart and aptitude so he's cold with the things that he's naturally gifted in i think that's what aptitude means i should know this he's cold in his natural ability to do something it doesn't seem like there's a lot of warmth and it's not a good thing if somebody is unbreakable that means that they're not vulnerable that they don't actually feel deep feelings or emotions because you have to have a wall up if you're unbreakable and this just is all telling me that she should run run real fast he prays for love he prays for peace and maybe someone new I'm sorry, but he just looks like one of those guys that would just like smell like cigarettes and and like have booze on his breath. And he reminds me of like a mobster in a way. Like like he can take a shower and wash with with Irish Spring or whatever and smell good, but he's still got you know where alcohol. If you drink a lot or you do drugs a lot, it, it, it can seep through your pores, and it doesn't matter how much you shower or your hygiene. It like comes through your pores. So I feel like he looks like the type of person who has to like douse the cologne on himself. I didn't hear this when she was singing this, but I just glanced at the lyrics, and it says, "I'm one of many." Bonnie's blue. Bonnie's blue is a flag. It's all blue with a star in the middle. I know that. During the Civil War, I believe that this was a flag that would go up in Confederate areas. The flag does symbolize like sovereignty, so in self-governance. So it seems as if, you know, he probably makes up his own rules for himself, but doesn't always abide by other rules or abide by government, I think. It's someone who didn't want to be a part of the United States. They were happy being on their own, like separate. I think that she's meaning the ones that are saying like they're okay to be separate. So maybe not married to him maybe to exist on their own or maybe have their own relationship with him outside of whatever, maybe um, an institution like marriage. That's that's the vibe I'm getting here. This is one of many mistresses that she she's speaking from their perspective. As I see her swimming and he's looking up at her, I'm just thinking in my head, like, Lana, you are a goddess, a goddess swimming in that pool. You got a voice of an angel. You have a unique look. This dude is not worth your time. You deserve somebody who fully sees you for the goddess that you are. 
that guy definitely is not because he's unfixable. He's unbreakable, has lots of different partners. He loves drugs. I mean, no. I'm being triggered <laughs> when I just like see the way that he's drinking it and the way he's like, and he's got the like the crinkles around his eyes. It's like, cause it's, it's so, um, he probably didn't chase it with anything. And it's like, oh yeah, you're such a badass that you get to like take a shot and watch a young girl dance around. <laughs> And she's coming out of that water. She is gorgeous. As the water is like going almost up to her eyes, I'm just like, oh, a little bit in a trance. Like she's very, um, she, she's shocking. And I could see her being intimidating. So maybe older men aren't as intimidated by her, possibly. But he just is no, no. Gangly. <laughs> She's like so cool. Like she's so amazing. Like what? I know the attraction. I understand the psychology. I've talked about in other videos with this man. <sighs> no. I hope that she's realizing that he's unfixable and that she's one of many and that she starts to rid herself past this. When did this come out? Nine years ago. Okay. Her music, you guys, she has evolved so much, so much. I mean, it's really beautiful. It shows how much people can change whenever they recognize who they are, whenever they get their addictions under control. And it's really beautiful. I mean, I, I'd like to sit down with her truly and just be like, let's go through it. When you were casting this music video, who did he remind you of? And I know that some people are gonna be frustrated saying, oh, I'm judging, I'm judging her. No, I, I see myself in her. I understand it. And that also doesn't mean that I like it. All right, hope you all enjoyed this. Take care.